uh, a video today just to mark the 25th anniversary of the Tetris franchise. It's been 25 years to the day um, that Alexei first brought up his idea, um, credit when he was back in the Soviet Union um, University of Science. And yeah, I'm just going to show a few things that uh, has been influenced by Tetris. You know, it's one of the biggest franchises ever. I thought I'd show you a few cool things and, a few, and maybe a fact that you didn't know about Tetris. Uh, the main aim of this video is just to congratulate uh, the people behind, the person behind uh, Tetris and the whole franchise as a whole. Okay, so Google have um, acknowledged uh, how big this franchise is, and they've done their main page and their main logo, as you've seen many times before that they've changed it, and now it's influenced by Tetris um, to show that it's the 25th anniversary. I can't think of a game that's done that, so, you know, in gaming terms, you know, it's massive, and, you know, you may, you can ask people that have never played games, they will know Tetris, you know, um, and to be honest, I think everyone has played Tetris once in their life. I played it first on the uh, Nintendo, um, I had like 150 greatest games or something, like a cartridge, and you know, they're all very primitive, most of them, but there was a few good ones that, you know, they, it's gameplay shone through the poor graphics and obviously Tetris was one of them that I can remember back back from that cartridge played it quite a amount of time it's very addicting a game you know um, if you played it and pretty much everyone should have if you haven't definitely go and check it out you, you know you're missing out to be honest um, if you don't like you know Tetris or maybe the style of it or something it's not quite modern maybe check out Luminous which is out on the PSP and on the arcade um, 360 arcade Okay, um, Guillaume Raymond, he is a stop motion film director and he, you know, just showed his influence for Tetris and tried to do a sort of uh, a montage of it in a sense um, with humans. So we tried Human Tetris, that's what it's called. Um, I should have a link at the right side, so go and check it out. It's a really good video and he does his own voices as well for the, the theme tune and, it, and that's spot on as well. So go and definitely check it out. Okay, this is from a Japanese game show. Um, this actually ran for a few seasons that I can remember, I think two seasons. And it was just a, a game where the, uh, the contestants have to create the shape uh, of whatever blocks coming towards you. So they have to create that shape. And some of them are ridiculous, like uh, there was one where he has to jump in the air, you know, with uh, his hands in the air as well, and it is, it'll be ridiculous to get that timing right. But you know, some people have achieved it, and there were some very good uh, moments from it. So go and check that out. I've got a video at the right of uh, just an overview of this in action. So go and uh, go and check that out. Electronic Gaming Monthly's hundredth issue, which came out around two thousand and seven. Um, they placed Tetris in the first place as the greatest game of all time. Also, Tetris came second though in the IGN's 100th Greatest Video Games of All Time, and also it sold 70 million copies. Obviously with numbers like 70 million, um, it's broken a few records and it has a long history Tetris with the Guinness Book of Records. Um, in their newer books, uh, which are the Gamers Edition, um, they have nine records, nine world records, and I think they currently still have those. Uh, these records include most ported video game, game with the most official and unofficial variants, uh, longest prison sentence for playing a video game. Okay, so this is held by a guy called Fias Chopta, who was jailed for four months for playing Tetris on his cell phone. So he was on a flight from um, somewhere to Manchester, uh, England, and he refused to stop playing this game. Um, after being repeatedly told by the cabin crew, obviously when he stepped foot into uh, England, he got charged with something and got jailed for four months for playing this video game. I'm sorry, this is really hard to read. Um, it's just I wanted to film 
everything that they've achieved into one page. I'll just uh, show a few things that they've influenced apart from the ones I've already mentioned. Uh, what are they influence? Okay, so one of them that they uh, a video game orientation uh, in the cartoon Captain N the Game Master. Um, also in the Simpsons episode uh, as well as in Family Guy and Futurama as well as uh, cartoons this has also been into advertisement um, it's been in a Honda advert and as well it was included in a Neo Geo Battle Coliseum game where you can um, summon and attack characters with various Tetris blocks um, and it's got a whole big list of other things it's uh, influenced but it'll take me quite a while to name everything there it just shows you know how big this franchise is and this is a uh, effect basically from Tetris and it's called the Tetris effect it occurs when an activity to which people devote sufficient time to and attention uh, begins to overshadow their thoughts, mental images and dreams so if you play that game so long you keep thinking it and dreaming it um, this has happened various various times and people have you know even gone to the doctor saying about it you know um, and in the game a player rotates and moves different fallen uh, tetraminones or shapes made up four adjacent square blocks and can arrange them and you've got to eliminate them uh, in the shortest possible time and the many lines to get a better combo you know so it's such, an, uh, it's such a basic concept you know it's basic graphics and you know it just shows you gameplay does overpower graphics easily and this is a prime example of that so yeah people you know can have thoughts and even visual fields of this game you can blink and see a tetris l shape so um you know it's a it's a weird thing but you know it just shows you the phenomenon of this game and just to put it here i just want to congratulate tetris and the the creator alexei you know for such a great franchise 25 years and definitely one of the best video games ever so um just a congratulations for that and if you haven't played tetris go and check it out i don't know where you've been if you haven't um but yeah more videos coming soon and see you next time